Okay, so in this video, we're actually going to talk about what is the most efficient way to switch between Office 365 tenants. And this is a huge thing for consultants and QA reps or anyone that's dealing with Office 365. And you either have to switch between tenants because as a consultant, you may be dealing with different clients. Uh, maybe as a QA rep, you have to log in with different personas for testing and role verification, wherever the case may be. So uh, actually, and most of the time what we would do, we would use this to, so currently what we would do, we would use multiple browsers, right? So you either use IE11, you would have Edge, you would have Firefox, you would have Chrome, that will max you all at four. Then you do incognito mode, so that gives you like eight, up to eight instances. And sometimes we get confused and they're not as clean as, as they, they should be and a lot of confusion. So let me show you a way where Google or actually parachute in and, and help out Office 365 consultants by leveraging the Google Chrome profiles. Now, the Google Chrome profiles, as you can see here, I can set up here and switch between uh, different personas, different tenants using profiles. And these are not tied to Gmail accounts. These are so Google actually created these, these Chrome profiles for actually the Chromebook and the uh, uh, Pixel book. And that was their way, there was their answer to allow you to create multiple profiles within those devices, very similar to what we have in Windows 10. So from that, because we're using Chrome, now we can actually leverage that to create multiple personas or multiple tenants. So what you see here, this is my SoftNet tenant, this is my Tesla demo tenant, um, in a Tesla demo tenant, I have different two different logins. So here I can just come in here as Andre and go to office.com and be logged in automatically because now I can actually save my password. And, and you know, if you're working with an account to where you have MFA, multi, multiple form authentication, where you have to use the Windows authentication to approve or the one time passcode that gets a uh, text to you, you can actually uh, go through that process once check the option to save it for 60 days and actually save this within your Chrome profile. So it's actually a very sweet way. And then you can label them so you don't get confused. So now if I, so now I'm in with Andre, I can switch over to my Tesla tenant as Deshaun. And also with these profiles, you get your different bookmarks. So here I can actually uh, have bookmarks for each one of these profiles because Deshaun under the Tesla tenant is actually a global admin account. So I can easily bookmark uh, the SharePoint admin a screen, saving me four or five different clicks to get to this each and every time. I can switch to uh, my different team sessions. Uh, here is the uh, team's admin, but if I switch accounts over here to impact Deshaun and then click on teams right there in a matter of one click, it takes a little bit to load, but I'm right here in my team's workspace, ready to rock and roll as that user. So again, Using the Google profiles, how so okay, so how you set this up? Very simple. And you and you actually probably bypass it logging in. So you fire up Chrome, you go over here and you click on this little icon. Most of the time this is going to be grayed out. Uh, let me see if I can exit this. So if I go down here and click uh let's see if I click on the profile and then click, oh, how do I exit out? Oh, if I hit exit at the end, what this is gonna do, this is gonna cl close all of my Chrome sessions. And then if I click on it, this icon right here is, is your profile icon. If you're logged in with your Gmail account, it usually has a, a picture of your Gmail. Uh, most of the time it may be gray if it's a fresh install of Chrome. You just click on that. And then right here at the bottom, you click on add, right? So here I can just go in here and let me just set up and say impact. Let me grab another persona. Uh oh, So this is going to be my impact Christian persona on the impact tenant and then you can select an icon whatever the case may be and then you click add and just like that you have a fresh profile and that's going to automatically be in this drop down in this list so you can navigate between it so once i'm there i can then just go and proceed to office.com and now as you can see i'm logging into like six or seven different personas now across three or four different tenants and i get the fresh login screen it's not picking up my cookie from a previous session or anything like that. I just come in here, uh, use my login. In this case, it'd be Christian at office365.how. And then I log in with the password. I think the biggest problem with any of this is remembering the password. 
right? So I just go ahead and log in with the password as I do. And now here's the benefit. I can save this. So now it's saved with that profile. It's saved in the cookie, which is going to come with that profile. And then if there's a verification process, I can go through this pretty easily. Uh, pretty easily. I don't know why it's asking me for this again, but let me set this up. All right. So, oh, it wants me to do that. But anyway, I'm not going to go through that whole ceremony. But you go through this, and if it's MFA, you go through that verification process. You check the box to save it. And then once that's done, you're ready to rock and roll. And you, you save up your bookmarks. You can bounce between them, no problem. It auto logs you in if you click save. And it's such a, a beautiful thing. And it's very streamlined. You have labels to switch between them. And it's, it's sweet. So enjoy that. And that's my tip from trick for the day on how to switch between Office 365 tenants in the most efficient way.